Good evening, Internet. It's me, D.P. Knuton, with another edition of Bookward Bound, my 301-day daily live stream journey from, I should really do this, to done when it comes to the creation of a brand new book by January 1st, 2021. Or at least the files will be done that I need to upload to Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing so I can self-publish my own book, a brand new book that I'm working on called... Nonfiction brand, discovering, crafting, and communicating the completely true, completely you brand you already are. And what I'm doing with these live streams is I'm I'm forcing myself back down into my office to work on this book every night, typically right around this time, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock p.m., Central Standard Time or Central Daylight Time here in uh, the Central Time Zone in the United States of America. And I'm working on this book in one form or another. I may be designing the book. I may be outlining the book. I may be writing the book. And tonight, I'm going to be staring at my computer screen as I try to write some new stuff in a section called strategic... Let me say that again. Strategic authenticity. Now, what's that all about? Well, actually, that's what this whole section is all about. So I am going to go over to Scrivener, the application which I am using to create this book, and I am going to do some writing tonight based on Authenticity's Evil Twin, TMI, Too Much Information. Um, And this is kind of a beef I have, which is that people think authenticity means vomit out everything in their life. Uh, And I don't think that's necessarily true. Too much information is exactly that. Too much information. Um, Okay. Hold on. Depending on who you're talking to. The word authenticity has, how about that? The word has many meanings. And that's where I get to the has many meanings, uh, depending on who you you are talking to. It mean anything from keeping it real to Get real. That means to oversharing about uh, every aspect of your your life. Um. Including all the way down medical history. Some cases and places that can make sense and be incredibly 
freeing. In others, not so much. is about those not so much situations. Let me point to another real world example. You may or may not like. I was as a creative director. an agency and had hired a new kid right out of college. Great personality um, diligent and ambitious an avid user of Instagram I made mistake of following her because we were friends. We were and still are friends. But as her there because we were. She did not report directly to me. Make it a not to follow time made get a habit not to follow um subordinates account social accounts the same way as I elected to not hang out with them after work. I'm sure you can Guess all the reasons why comma which I I uh, some 
up in three little letters. TMI. Were I a member of the CIA, I would absolutely love social media. With innocent post F innocent post users inadvertently drop single seemingly innocuous Insignificant, yeah, insignificant, insignificant data points. All the time. Oh, over and over. 24-7. All you have to do is pay just a little bit of attention and you'd be able to assemble a hefty dossier on even the most Savvy social user. This friend of whom I speak was, is certainly socially savvy. Boy, boy, how did, did she ever drop data? One day, in an attempt to give her a little unwanted fatherly advice I said I pointed out I I asked her a simple question I made a suggestion I made a I made a simple suggestion about her Insta feed. Of her last 50 posts, count the number that featured her holding a drink, uh, holding a drink, a beer, uh, a drink, or what could possibly be con construed as an alcohol 
alcoholic drink. Or a photo of a drink. She was a little insulted, and I'm not sure she ever took me up on the challenge, but I did, and the answer was somewhere north of 20, uh, 25, north of 50%. It may not be fair, but were I hiring someone today? And I could suss out any of their social channels. Uh, I mean, if, but, but many companies today are scouring applicants' social feeds for exactly such intelligence and making hiring decisions appropriately. where strategic authenticity comes in. With fully half of your Insta posts suggesting that year a uh, heavy drinker Not fair, but if you've got two applicants in the same position and one Field about their 
Asia activities. Uh, going to hire. Couple of years later, actually witnessed a similar thing happen in real life. Uh, uh, Was TMI Facebook version? TMI, TMI information on Facebook. The guy was a really opinion needed. The guy was highly qualified. Highly qualified manager who unfortunately they was also uh, was also highly prone to subscribe to let's say dabble in political conspiracy theories Facebook He was a finalist for a position right. was a finalist for a nonprofit. At the same time, he was questioning the validity. Ay, 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 oh. He was. 
is rather loudly questioning the validity of nonprofit as business entity on Facebook. where anyone who did a basic search of his name could could find it could find it uh, An image of a basic search of his name could see it. Too much information. Too much information, dude. TMI, too bad. Too much information, too bad. Too bad about that job, dude. Too much information, comma, too. By saying that the woman who authentically enjoyed having a cocktail to during off hours should. Suddenly go tea to tot totler total totaler tea total mm. or that Mr. Fair and Balanced should his opinion absolutely not they not but please 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 at least put that uh, put that through a strategic Prism before before posting so what Authenticity strategy. And this is something I'm going to have to think about. Um, I think I'm going to stop writing and maybe start coming up with some... Just sit here and think a little bit. 
because here's the, here's the thing about writing. Writing is not about typing fast. It's not about having a super fast handwriting, if you prefer that. It's about capturing ideas and concepts and seeds of a concept or a whiff of a concept as they come to you. And sometimes you just have to sit there and stare. And this is different than uh, what people might call writer's block because I don't have a writer's block. It's, it's, it's more like I haven't really thought about, so what makes, what elements make up a sound authenticity strategy? Oh, one would be universal goods, universal, universal good. No, not universal good, what am I saying? Uh, the varnished truth. So people always talk about the unvarnished truth. Well, I think there's a thing called the varnished truth. What else would there be? Um, It's not. Yeah. Temperature. Um, that's not exactly what I want to say, but it's an idea. Uh, and I don't know what else. Uh... All right, so let's just take a look at how many words I've done tonight. Okay, that's cool. 556 words to there. And I'm going to grab that too. All right, 575 words. I'm feeling pretty good about that. It's a Thursday night. 575 words. Move that book a, for, a little bit forward. Great. Now, do I have to keep going and rack my brain and make blood come out of my ears? No. I have um, 301 days consecutively to get this book done. I've already burned... 70. Tonight is 70. Yeah, this is episode 70. 70 consecutive days doing this live stream as I write this book. So I still have plenty of days left. Uh, so let's see if it's 70. I'd have uh, 231 left to go. So yeah, so if so, let's do a little math there. If I have, let's just say... Um, I have 231 days left to go times 500 words equals. Oh, that's a whole lot of words, especially when you figure. And I've done a little bit of research looking at other my book and other people's books. And I'm saying that this book is going to have about 350 words a page. So I'm going to divide that by 350 words. Oh my God, that's a 330 page book at 500 words a day. Let me, let me do that math again. I said 131 days times 500 equal, hold on, 231 days times 500 equals, yep, 115,500 words. Um, and I said divided by, 350 words per page, 350 words equals, <sighs> screwed it up again, 231 days times 500 words equals 115,500 divided by 350, that's how many words are in each page, that would make, yeah, a book of 330 pages, and I want this book to be about 250, so... I definitely don't need to come up with 500 words every single night. 
Um, so I can breathe easy as long as I'm getting some forward movement. Like last night, I only did about 275. So, you know, some days are better than others. Tonight was pretty good. And, uh, of course, I still haven't uh, finished this section. Um, however, I am going to reflag it. And what I mean by a flag is each one of these sections has a little flag. Red means I haven't written anything in that section, like right there, nothing. But strategic authenticity, I've written quite a bit. I've got five hundred and seven, uh, 1,082 words down there. So I'm going to change that flag to yellow. And yellow means that I've written significantly in that section, but it's not done yet. Blue means, hey, this section I think is done, but it's not been proofed or edited or anything like that. So that it, once it's proofed and edited, it'll get a green flag. So these are all ways for me to say, okay, I need to get some more of these closed out to blue. And when I then when I have a bunch of these down to blue, and I'm not feeling like I want to write, but I can edit. I'm going to go in and edit and proofread and, and reformat and, and do all that stuff. So um, this is my way of doing what I can do when I can do it best based on how I feel, my energy level, what the day was like today, you know, all that stuff. So I'm getting that book moving forward, baby. This is the 70th, 7 zero episode of Bookward Bound, and I'm pretty happy with that. Because, uh, you know, when I started out on March 5th, I just looked it up today. Um, I started doing this on March 5th after I got back from Social Media Marketing World. Because, well, I'm going to write about it in the book. But the bottom line is I heard a story about a guy who did something like this but for golfing. You know, he, he was per trying to qualify for the Australian Open. So he did 191 live streams of him preparing to, uh, you know, compete to become uh, a golfer in the Australian Open. He didn't get it, but he was really successful in doing his live stream thing, which I, I definitely want to write about in this book and also get him on my podcast, the Nonfiction Brand Podcast, which comes out every Monday. If you want to hear more about the dribblings like this, about personal branding, authentic branding, and what I love to call nonfiction branding, well, then check out the Nonfiction Brand Podcast wherever you get your podcasts for free. And also um, check back here tomorrow night around the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock time frame uh, to see what I'm doing then. Because frankly, I don't know what it's going to be, but I do know this. I'm going to be in this chair at this computer working on this book. Why? Because I made a commitment to you and in that way made a commitment to me too. Thanks for watching tonight. That's it for tonight. I'll talk to you guys next time. So theme music, take us on out. Bye-bye.